Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching technical spark friends in this video uh, i am going to demonstrate how to configure your trellis drive encryption client task and the easiest way to deploy trellis dlp agent on a user machine step by step things are pretty much simple and very important so make sure you guys are watching this video till the end and don't miss any of the part of this video so without further ado let me show you practically how you can do that after this small intro Welcome back guys. So I have logged into my APO server and very first we will go to our client task catalog. Okay because this is where we actually uh, configure the package and sequence to deploy agent on end user machine. So this is something which is very important. Now go to the product deployment and as you see I don't have any task for our release drive encryption. So what we will have to do is click on new task but before that let me copy one of the names. Perfect. Now click on new task and then product deployment is fine. Click on OK. Let's give and paste the things which we have copied. Now, very first, what we do, we have to install Telix Dive Encryption Go on end user machine. Okay, so it automatically took the branch and the action is installed. Okay, now click on next option that is our Telix Drive Encryption Agent for Windows. Okay, and the third one that is actual drive encryption software. So all those three packages has the you know action status as install and the branch is current because this is where we kept our software. So now let's change the name of this particular package. So here I'll show you know type DE for Windows and the version is seven dot four dot one dot twelve. If you want, you can write something else like install so that if you create like one package for the install and one another for the remove, then you will get the clarity which package it is while selecting the appropriate client task. There is nothing much available here if you, you try to scroll down. So, my package has been our client task has been ready. Let's click on save. So, this is how you can configure the client task to install drive encryption agent on your end user machine. There is a couple of options. If I go to the system tree and select my machine, then the very first option is go to the agent, run client task now. If your system is available in the corporate network and not that oh, like public network, okay, so it will only work for corporate network. What we have to do? Select the product deployment task and the software which you want to deploy. And as soon as you click on run task now. If you send an agent wake up task to your end user machine and then it start communicating with your EPO and once a system communicated back to EPO it will get to know that okay I have to install this software on uh, that particular machine and the installation get started and you will be able to see the progress and with this turnover trick you can deploy agent on multiple machines and you will get here the bars green bars one two three Okay, so if there is any issue on any of the machine, you will see failed with the red bar and if the installation is successful, then you will see the green bars. But in this video, I am not going to prep you know, perform this action. So I just informing you because we won't be able to see those bars here and I am in the process. Now let me click on cancel. So what we are going to do, we are going to apply the client task. Okay, but before that, let me show you one more deployment type that is we will have to go to the tag catalog. Because if you know that in my previous videos, I have explained you how effectively tags are working, right? So let me create one tag here that is new tag. Also, I'm not going to use this, but yeah, just for your information. Mm, okay, let's give a name like the deployment and add certain condition like you our tag only support Windows, right? So OS type should be Windows. Okay, I have Windows 11, so it's only the that option. Okay, so I have selected OS or let's say let me select OS platform. That will be you know much more information. Now let's select version, and here we'll see product version equals to or does not equal to. So let's say uh, you have very pressure environment. So in those situation, what you can do value is blank. But here again. 
so if you have server also which is part of that then in this situation instead of world testing you can choose the os type here the filter criteria so that you will be able to see uh, select the your os versions okay guys and if in case your version or let's say environment is already have the uh, drive management uh, agent installed and you want to, to you know deploy the this particular version to only pre older machines which are running on 7.3.1.20 something like that and because our current version is 7.4 so in the situation what you can do you can cl again click on this and select version like uh, it's uh, less than 7.4.2 that's it so whichever the system running with the drive driven agent 7.4.2 or less than 7.4.2 this tag will applicable to those machine only here you can choose the criteria like and or there are multiple options available so based on your conditions or requirement you can modify or just play around with this and then under systems click on apply tag evolution select this particular tick mark so that every time it will communicate your agent to server this particular track criteria will be revalidated so this is a smart process to deploy the track because usually what people do uh, I mean the way I'm going to demonstrate in this video uh, let me just go there so hopefully the tag part is clear they just uh, okay let me apply this rotation tag to this rotation group new client assignment product deployment yeah this is the correct one is selected so they select you know tag to all pieces so once your system is upgraded to the latest version then also you are this task continuously hitting to your machine so this is how it unnecessarily utilize the uh, resources of, on the machine also once the agent is upgraded to the latest version like 7.4.1.2 when the next time it will hit to the machine it will not download and install again okay but uh, try to reduce that by creating the tags okay and once you create the tags select the second option and choose the tags which you have created okay guys we haven't saved the task so that's why it's not available here but yeah that's the process now let me select send this task to all computer the schedule type is enabled so here i'll select run immediately because we don't want to waste uh, your time by scheduling it and it will run uh, by its own so let me click on save so my task has been applied and if i go to open the system right here and then under product i don't have drive different software installed on my this machine okay so let's close that and we'll jump to our client machine so guys this is my client machine now let me open my about window so that i will be able to show you what is the host name of this machine it's a t1 and there is apart from telex agent and dlp there is no other software present on my machine when i right click here also we just have dlp in one for console and there is no quick uh, option is available so let's uh, open telex agent monitor also, the software will get installed automatically when next time agent communicate with your EPO server. But as you see, it's going to wait for one hour and we don't have that much of time. So let's click on check for new policy. See, the task has been received. Now it will try to you know download all the package one by one. See, the very first task is, is uh, going to download, uh, package is going to download, that is ego because that is what we have selected at the top. So basically what EEGO does, once the EEGO is installed, it basically scans your machine for the known software, conflict software, which means which is not compatible with Telex drive encryption. And the third software is trying to install is EE admin, which means agent for PC. And this is the actual software, drive encryption windows. And all the things is showing successful. Let me show you, see, so EEGO is successfully installed. Uh, this EE admin is successfully installed and the last one is EE PC. This is also successfully installed and we got a prompt to reboot our machine. Okay, so as per the policy configured, this is not hard and fast a reboot. So it will automatically, it is just giving the prompt to yeah, you know restart your machine so that things will be in this particular software will be effectively work on your machine. But yeah, if you don't want to restart, you can simply click on cancel. But for our sake, let me just restart this machine. And meanwhile, the machine is restarting. Let's jump to our EPO server. Okay, guys, now let me open the same machine again. 
and check out under the product to yeah. My all the software has been successfully installed. Now guys, let me show you what exactly the Go works. So for that, let me go to the assign policies and here we'll select drive encryption Go. Let's open the policy and check out what exactly available inside that. So before it activates, it checks the certain things like your disk status, whether it's encrypted, decrypted, or there's any bad sector or something like that. Incompatible product detection, okay? Smart drive payload data predictions, supported drive. So it checks lots of things. Once this checks pass, then only it encrypts your machine. Otherwise, no. It's a big no. So this is very important. And it's very beautifully configured by Telix. Now let me cancel it. So guys, uh, I hope you have learned how to configure client tasks and agent deployment uh, method. So please do test in your uh, lab and let me know how it goes in your environment. And if you found this video useful, then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next amazing video. Till then, bye-bye.